Welcome, this is item number 21 from the release spring 2014 test items for 7th grade TCAP math. Now the question says, a drama club, which I think means that, I'm pretty sure means that they have plays and stuff like that, as opposed to a club for people who just want to stir up drama. Although in my time teaching in school, I know that that would have way more people that would be interested in being in it, but whatever. So a drama club is having a spaghetti dinner to collect money for club activities. Tickets for students are sold for $4 each. Tickets for non-students are $7. Which equation can be used to determine the total amount of money in dollars collected from the sales of student tickets and non-student tickets, which they say is an N and an S is for student tickets. So, they want you to find the total amount, which is T, using student tickets and non-student tickets. Now, the reality is, if I have the number of tickets, all I have to do is multiply it by the price. So if I, I want to make sure that I have this correct, I just need to put it next to each other. Put the number correct or next to the correct item. A ticket for a student is $4. So if my letter for students is S, I'll just do 4 times S. Because the amount of money that I bring in, say I have 50 students, I do 50 times 4. If it's 62 students, I do 62 times 4. The, those are the only ones that relate. Non-student tickets fall into a whole other category because they're priced differently. Non-student tickets are $7. So $7 times n. So if I have six students, uh, seven non-students, so for one day, say, I'll just do 6 times 4, 7 times 7. And if I want the total amount, I have to add that value together. And then I just need to know my total. So the answer to this one is right here. Now let's look at the other answers. Basically this isn't a difficult question. All you need to know is that the variable goes with the the variable goes with the price that's connected to that variable. If the variable is related to students, the price should be related to students. If the variable is related to non-students, the price should be related to non-students, all in one group. And if you make money from both of those sections, you need to add it together to find the total amount that you make. Let's look at the other sections to see why they're wrong. I think maybe that would be more important. A says the total is equal to 7 times students, but that doesn't make any sense because we're told that students cost $4. So I can't make $7 from one student ticket sale. It wouldn't make any sense. Say all we sold was one student ticket. It's the worst spaghetti dinner ever. All I sold was one student ticket. I know, based on the logic implied, so that would be zero non-students, um, that I should make four dollars for that student. But using that formula, or that equation, I'd make seven dollars, which isn't true. I know I make four dollars, so this one can't be it. C and D are just trying to think that you're so bad at math that you have no idea what this means. It's like, okay, I'll combine these two together, and then I'll just do it by total tickets. Well, that would mean that each ticket sold was eleven dollars. That's what this means. Because you add the number of students tickets, so say sixteen, and you add non-students to 20,005, whatever. So now you have 20,021 or something, um, times $11. This says that each ticket's worth the same amount because they're grouping them together. Well, that's not true, first off. Uh, they wish it was, but it isn't, so that's out. Uh, and D, they're subtracting the numbers for some weird reason. So you make $7 and $4. You know that's not going to happen. Just fill in amounts that you think, like say what's the minimal amount, like okay one student ticket sold, one um, non-student ticket would be seven and four which would be eleven dollars. So you could test your ideas. So if we did it here, 4s plus 7n, so four times one, this is if we sell one of each and we know we should make eleven dollars. And I do, so this one works. But if I did this one, eleven times one plus one, well, 1 plus 1 is 2, so here I make 22. Well, no. That would be beneficial for us trying to raise money for Drama Club, but nobody else. And the other one, I'll just go ahead and do the 1 plus 1 part here again. So 3 times 2. 6 bucks. I should make 11. I'm only making 6, so I know this isn't right either. So in the end of all things, just take a few seconds to test it out. You're already taking the test anyway. Just score as well as you can. I mean, what else are you going to do? You're not stupid nor should you be treated as such. So showing you that you can do the work and get it correct based on something so easy 
is the way to go about doing it. It's, I think some people would miss this question just because they kind of blow it off. But it's not a very hard question. They just want to trick you into thinking that you are or that it is. So don't fall for it. You're better than that. Score well.